today we're in Omaha. We're going to work with Bo, who is a 15-month-old bloodhound puppy. Uh, now, Bo uh, has had uh, some, some issues where he wasn't really trained very well uh, with his, uh, one of his guardians, and the guardians have split up, and so now we're with one of the guardians. Uh, basically, uh, Bo has nipped a couple people. It's a possessive or protective behavior. Um, the guardians normally put him in a back room when they have people come over. I've uh, kind of structured things a little bit differently. We have Bo on a leash. Um, uh, the, his guardians will be holding him on a leash, keeping him away. I have some high value tricky trainer uh, chicken liver traits here. We're going to try to uh, create a positive association. If you hold the dog back when it's pulling forward, you will intensify its reaction because the energy it's putting forth trying to break free transfers over to its reaction. So uh, I'm gonna go slow, I'm gonna stop multiple times. You're gonna notice I'm gonna turn my body sideways. If you notice me yawning, I'm not bored. It's a calming signal, something that dogs do to other dogs to say, I'm stressed out, or hey man, you're a little bit too hot, you need to stress out. Another calming signal, if you see me holding my hand like this, or if I uh, scratch the floor and sniff at it, also calming signals, it might look a little bit weird, but to dogs, they mean something. Um, also, uh, for dogs, the higher you are, the uh, taller you are, the more commanding you are. So uh, I will be lower myself and keep myself sideways to him. I want him to feel nice and relaxed and comfortable. And it might be a staggered process because uh, if he's too hot, I'm going to stop and wait for him to settle down a little bit. So we'll see how this video goes. All right, so you're just going to stay behind me long enough uh, uh, to keep, uh, try to keep the dog's uh, yeah, dog in the uh, picture as well. Let's see how Bo does. in the door. I'm not, uh, yeah, uh, just a half inch closer to me. Perfect. Just stay right there. Ah! <laughs> 
So he's so worked out, it's hard for him to settle himself. So I'm trying to give him a chance to, see, to sniff me a little bit. Dogs should meet me by sniffing. But you can tell he's so worked up. And just like, if we're overworked up, that's not a good time to rationalize with us and all that. So I'll give him a chance to kind of settle down. But I'm not looking at him, which would be a challenge. Yeah, I'm trying to sit sideways. I'm trying to, I'm not here as a threat. He kind of revs up and down. Trying to talk between the valleys. But I want him to understand that I'm not here to throw him. I'm not trying to pet him. I'm close to him, which we prefer. I'm going to have a little bit more space, but I'm hoping to activate his nose a little bit. But yeah, so you can tell he's, he's, he's very. So we're going to pick this video up a little bit later in the session.